The weight of an object on the moon varies directly as its weight on Earth. An astronaut who weighs 80 kilograms on Earth weighs one third, I mean 13 and one third kilogram on the moon. How much would a 60 kilogram person weigh on the moon? So, but dito mismo sa problem, alam na natin kung anong uri ng variation yung ating naharap. Sabi dito, the weight of an object on the moon varies directly as its weight, as its weight on Earth. So, kung mas mabigat ka sa Earth, mabigat ka rin sa moon. Pero habang gumagaan ka, no, babawas ang timbang mo, ganun din naman sa moon, magaan ka rin. Ang hindi na lang natin alam, eh, on what rate? No? Ano yung laki ng pinagbabago ng timbang mo? Bago natin masagot itong tanong na gaano kabigat sa moon itong 60 kilogram person. So alam natin na direct variation siya which means we will be using this equation y is equal to k multiplied by x. y being our dependent variable, k being the constant of variation, and then x will be our independent variable. Ito yung imamanipulate natin. And in this example's case, meron na siyang binigay na, halimbawa, no? Yung isang 80 kilogram na tao daw, pag pumunta ng moon, magiging 13 and 1 third kilograms na lamang. Sabihin, alamin muna natin kung sino sa kanila yung independent, sino yung independent variable. Kailangan natin tandaan na kung gaano kakabigat sa earth, yun yung magsasabi kung gaano kakabigat sa moon. Kaya yun yung unang binibigay. Hindi ba yung timbang mo sa earth? Yan. Ibig sabihin, itong timbang mo sa earth yung ating magiging independent variable. Weight on earth. Kasi sa kanya nakadepende yung timbang mo sa moon. Which means yun yung ating dependent variable. Weight on the moon. So, para masagot natin itong tanong sa hulihan, no? How much would a 60 kilogram person weigh on the moon? Kailangan nating malaman basically kung ano itong K. Yung constant of variation natin. Ano yung rate na nagde-decide ng pagbabago ng timbang? Alam natin na kapag mabigat ka sa Earth, eh, mabigat ka rin sa Moon. Kapag magaan ka sa Earth, gagaan ka rin sa Moon. No, it varies directly sa ngayon dito. Ang tanong lang, on what rate? Yun yung K natin. So para masolve muna yan, para masagot natin to, solve muna natin ito by using the examples given. Ano? Nagbigay kasi ng halimbawa na yung 80 kg na tao daw sa Earth magiging 13 and 1 third kg sa Moon. So, pakinabangan natin yan. We have Y is equal to K times X. Yung Y natin sa example na yan is this one. One 13 and 1 third kilograms. So, lagay ko. 13 and 1 third. Mamaya na natin problemahin yung unit. Equals K. We don't know K yet. So, lagay ko siya. And then, multiplied by our independent variable, yung timbang sa earth, which is 80. So, the goal is to solve for K. Meaning, kung nasa ang side man siya ng equal sign, gusto ko isolated siya. Gusto ko wala siyang kasama. Kaya lang, sa example na to so far, may 80. So, ayaw ko nung 80 dyan, so I need to get rid of that. Paano? Kailangan natin i-undo yung multiplication na ginawa sa side na to ng equal sign. This is k times 80, right? So, para mawala yung 80 dyan, i-undo natin yung multiplication by using the reverse process, the reverse operation of multiplication, which is division. At gagawin natin both sides para yung sagot natin ay manatiling equal. Ano, na, ano yung gagamitin natin divisor? Saan natin i-divide itong dalawang quantities na to? Ito natin, ma-isolate si K, so ayaw natin ng 80. 80 ang gagamitin natin divisor. Gawin natin both sides. Yung goal natin, equal pa rin hanggang sa hulihan. Bakit 80 yung ginamit? Because 80 divided by 80 is 1. Anything in fact divided by itself is just 1. So K na lang matitira dyan. Kasi K multiplied by 1, in fact any number multiplied by 1, it's just the number itself. Hindi na natin sulat yung 1. 
Problema na lang natin yung left side. Kasi dito, meron tayong 13 and 1 third divided by 8. We have a fraction, a mixed fraction to be precise, divided by a number. Para magawa yan, naaralan natin ng grade 6 na kapag nagmumultiply, nagdi-divide tayo ng fraction, nagmumultiply tayo actually by the reciprocal of our divisor. So, mumultiply natin yung 13 and 1 third as it is sa reciprocal ng divisor. Reciprocal, ibig sabihin yung flip version nito. Paano natin if you flip? Eh, 80 lang yan. Well, if this is a constant, alam natin na mayroong denominator yan na 1. Flip mo yan, that's going to be 1 over 8. Yan. So, now we can proceed to multiplication. Kaya lang meron tayong mixed number dyan. Para mas maganda yung tingnan, gawin ko muna siyang improper. So, 13 times 3 plus 1 going to be 40. Tapos retain ka yung denominator na 3. Then, we multiply sa 1 over 80. Ngayon, mas maganda na siyang tingnan. 40 times 1 is going to be 40. 3 times 80 is going to be 240. Simplify natin yung 40 over 240. Pakakuha tayo ng 1 over 6. Ibig sabihin, yung value ng k sa example na to, Ang kumuna tong over 1 na yan. Yung value ng k is going to be 1 over 6. Ito yung rate na yung nagde-decide kung yung timbang mo sa earth e ano, ano sa moon. Ano yung magiging pagbabago. Lagi natin siyang imumultiply dun sa ating independent variable which is your weight on earth. Na alam na natin yung K, mahanap na natin yung sagot dito sa tanong na to. How much would a 60 kg person weigh, weigh on the moon? So, hindi natin alam yung timbang niya sa moon. So, we do not know why. Ito yung isasolve natin. Paano natin gagawin? Multiply daw yung K by independent variable. In this example's case, yung K natin, alam na natin na 1 over 6. Kailangan lang natin i-multiply dun sa given na timbang sa earth, which is 60. And, 1 sixth multiplied by 60, we know na kailangan natin itong i-multiply sa 1 bago i-divide sa 60. So, that is going to be, I mean, divide sa 6. That's going to be 10 kilograms. Kina natin yung unit kasi yun naman yung unit. Okay. And that's how you solve a problem involving direct variation. Of course, pwede mo nang i-represent ito since we know an equation already. Yung equation natin to know the weight of someone mula sa earth papunta sa moon. Alam natin nagagamit ka nito. Yan. Y being the weight, your weight on the moon, and then X being your weight on earth. Ito yung equation natin. This is general rule para malaman mo kung anong timbang mo sa moon given yung timbang mo sa earth. Mula dyan, pwede ka na makapag-generate ng table. Diba? Yung X, Y, tapos yung timbang mo sa earth, and let's say yung una natin given, 80, tapos magiging 13 and 1 third, yan. Then, you can keep on going. Kung 60 ka daw, yan, magiging, sabi natin, magiging 10, yan. Pwede ka na rin makapag-graph mula dyan dahil meron ka nang makukuha ang X values and Y values. Bawat isa dito, magre-represent ng isang point. Yan, this is a point, this is a point. Magagamit mo makapag-plot para makapag-plot sa isang partition plane, di ba? Other ways lang naman of representing a variation state. And that will be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.